Hi, my name is Mylani. I'm a farrier, which is also known as a blacksmith or a horseshoer. I've been around horses most of my life. My dad was a farrier when I was little, and I used to go to work with him. And it was kind of my dream job ever since I was little. I'm also a big Porsche enthusiast. Cars have always been a big part of my life with my family. My dad grew up with Porsches. My grandma had a Porsche. My mom, my aunt, we've all driven Porsches. And ever since I was 16, it was my dream to have my own Porsche. Hi guys, and welcome back to Women in Porsche. I am Lorena. I am founder of Women in Porsche and owner of Espo Resto in North Hollywood. And I am here today with my Lani. Hello. Welcome. Thank, Thank you so you. much for being here. So my Lani, tell me a little bit about yourself and kind of how you got into this whole P-Car game. Well, I was kind of brought up into it um, with my dad. Always had Porsches growing up. Um, my dad used to kind of play it up that what other kid gets picked up in a race car and I just thought it was the coolest thing. Yeah. And um, always going to Porsche events, um, Porsche swap meets, and I was just raised in it and the culture and the people and my dad used to buy restore and flip uh, 912s and 356s oh, okay. when I was growing up. So. so we have a lot in common, mm -hmm. apparently, because yeah. as you know, my dad and I are in this business together, and I grew up the same way, and my dad used to come out and um, we'd have dinner every Wednesday night, and he'd pick me up in whatever Porsche of the week it was. So what do you have now? What car do you um, have? When I was 23, you know, I was dying for my own Porsche growing up, and when I was 23, I was walking around my neighborhood with my dog and I saw this 68 912 Targa that had a for sale sign on it and I was like, $5,000, it's no. in my price range, I'm going to buy it. So I called the guy, we set it up, I was going to go there the next day and buy it and um, he called me later that night and said, I blew the engine and I said, it's alright, I still want it because you and my your dad, dad can do it. Yeah. Right. And so he's like, well, I'll sell it for $2,700. Oh, I was like, hey, gosh. yes. So. Um, That's lucky. Yes. Yeah, so I bought that. It's still sitting in my dad's backyard waiting to be restored. It needs but a lot of work. But you got it. But That's I have great. it. Um, actually, I'm going to. Hopefully soon this year, my dad has a 69 912 engine that's totally restored. Oh, perfect. So that just I'll drop put that in it. I want to drive it for, you know, a year or something before I start the full yeah. body restoration. I love meeting other people <clears throat> who have that, you know, work with their dad kind of thing. Because it's definitely different. Yeah. It's really fun. and But it also has its challenges working right. with your dad every day. Well, and we're both fun. in a very male-dominated yeah. industry. Um, yeah car mechanics and farriers, horseshoers, they're very, they can yeah. be a tough crowd. What are some of the challenges that you face with that? Um, just people expecting you to not know yeah. anything uh, yeah. or not have the talent or the strength um, to get results. That to do it the same way. Yeah. yeah. And so in a way I kind of like it because it's kind of fun to prove people wrong and Absolutely. see the su surprise yeah. and, oh, you actually can do this. Yeah. What car, if you could like pick anything and have your dream car, what would that be? Mm. A 904. Okay. <laughs> I know that's unattainable, um, so I would love a 73 RS. Okay. Ugh. I love those cars, they're so sexy. Well, thanks so much for coming and we will be back very soon um, with more about Mylani and her cars. Thanks so much, guys.